Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninjas. Myself, Femi Bijoy. We are discussing the chapter Squares and Square Roots, chapter number 6 and standard 8. We have covered two sessions of the introduction. Today, we are dealing the third session and it is very easy for you to understand. This property says that if you are taking two consecutive natural numbers and finding the squares, how many numbers are in between the two squares? That's our question. I know you couldn't understand anything. I will explain once again. See, if you are taking two consecutive natural numbers, what is the meaning of consecutive natural numbers? In between these two numbers, there should not be any other natural number. So, I am going to find, take 5 and 6. Then I am going to find the square of each natural number. That is 5 square and 6 square. What is the value of 5 square? 5 into 5. 5 into 5 means 25. What is 6 square? 6 into 6 that is 36. In between these two square numbers, we cannot find any other square number. That means in between 25 and 36, there are natural numbers but they are not perfect squares. Non-perfect square numbers. We are going to find out how many non-perfect square numbers. See, after 25, what is the number? 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35. What is the next number? That is 36. Leave this matter. This doesn't matter. We are going to find out how many numbers. So we have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in between 25 and 36, we got 10 non perfect square numbers. This is our question. To make a property, we want clear evidence, right? So, we are going to find out what is the property. See, I am taking two consecutive natural numbers. They are 1 and 2. I am going to find the squares of each number. 1 square, then 2 square. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. What are the numbers in between 1 and 4? 2 and 3. Then I am going to take next two consecutive natural numbers that is 2 and 3. In between 2 and 3 can you find any other natural number? No. In between 1 and 2 can you find any other natural number? No. That's why we are calling these numbers as consecutive natural numbers. Then 2 square and 3 square. What is the value of 2 square? That is 4 and this is 9. In between 4 and 9, what are the numbers? 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8. Next, I am going to take the natural numbers as 3 and 4. So, find the product. Find the square. 3 square. Then, 4 square. 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16. In between 9 and 16, what are the numbers? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, then 15. Next, 4 and 
5. Then find out 4 square and 5 square. What is 4 square? That is 16 and 5 square is 25. So I am going to write down all the natural numbers in between 16 and 25. 16, then 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, then 24. Next, 4 and 5, then 5 and 6. I am taking the consecutive natural numbers as 5 and 6. Then find the square. 5 square, then 6 square. 36, then 25. Next, I am going to write down all the numbers in between 25 and 36. 25, then 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Actually, we wrote all these numbers just to count how many numbers are there. So, first count. How many numbers are in between squares of 1 and 2? 1, 2. Only two numbers. In this case, if you are selecting the natural numbers 2 and 3, how many numbers are in between the squares of 2 and 3? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four numbers are there. In between the squares of 3 and 4, how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are there. If you are taking the consecutive natural numbers as 4 and 5, how many numbers can we find? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In between the squares of 5 and 6, how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I am going to rearrange these numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 like this. See? Instead of 2, I am going to write down 2 into 1. Is it correct? Yes. Instead of 4, 2 into 2. Instead of 6, 2 into 3. Instead of 8, 2 into 4. Instead of 10, 2 into 5. My question is, if I am taking two consecutive numbers as n and n plus 1 and finding the squares n square and n plus 1, the whole square, how many numbers can we find? in between these two numbers. That's my question. How can we find out? See, instead of n, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and instead of n plus 1, we have 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. See here, in this pattern, this 2 is common, right? The first number 2 is common and the next number is changing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These numbers represent the number n. That means instead of this one, I can take this one. Instead of 2, here 2, 2, 3, here also 3, 4, here also 4, 5, here also 5 and here also n and the non-changing number is 2. 
So I got the answer 2 into n. That means 2n. The property says that if n and n plus 1 are the two consecutive natural numbers, then there are 2n non perfect square numbers between n square and n plus 1 the whole square. What is n square and n plus 1 the whole square? Squares of our consecutive natural numbers. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this, please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off Femi Bijoy from Max Ninjas.